This is going to be a short meditation, so you want to make sure that it's really good. You're going to stay with the breath, and nothing is going to push you away. You make up for quality, for what it lacks in quantity. And you find that you really can get the mind to stay right here. The breath is right here. It's offering itself to you every time it comes in and goes out. All you have to do is pay attention and then stick with it, and then stick with it, and stick with it. And any temptation to go anyplace else, you say, nope, not now, not now, not now. This is the time for the mind to look after itself and to gain some strength. The ability of your mindfulness and alertness to keep watch over the mind like this, that's what strengthens the mind. Because whatever task you've got to do, you've got to be mindful. There are certain things you have to keep in mind as you're doing them, and you have to be alert to watch what you're actually doing to make sure you're doing it right, you're getting the results you want. And if you're not, then you can make adjustments right away. The more alert you are to this, the more quickly the job gets done, the better it gets done. So these are qualities you need in every aspect of life. And when people do a sloppy job or they make mistakes, it's because they're lacking mindfulness or lacking alertness. So these are qualities you need to strengthen, keep practicing them day in and day out, day in, day out. So they're ready for you when, need it, when you need them. And this way, whether you're meditating or doing anything else, you've got the strength you need in order to do it right. So try to keep on top of this while you're doing it, because this is for the mind's own good and it's for the good of all the other duties that the mind has to take care of. It's like eating. You know that the time that's used to eat the job's not getting done, but if you don't eat at all, the job's not going to get it done either. You're going to just get worn out, worn out. So you have to rest every now and then to make sure that you can maintain your strength. You have to feed yourself to make sure the body is well nourished. And it's the same with the mind. You've got to nourish it periodically like this to make sure it has the strength it needs to take on all of its other duties. It's not like you're running away from the world when you come in here. You're looking after the most important part of the world, which is the mind. And as long as the mind is in good shape, then everything else around you is going to have a, get a good influence from the mind. If you don't look after the mind, then no matter how good your ideas may be or how wonderful the vision you have for the world, but if you don't have the strength you need, it's not going to happen. So these are the strengths of the mind, alertness, mindfulness, and this quality of ardency of trying to do it right. And you find that if you can stay right here for five minutes, then okay, there'll be another five, and then another five, and after a while you, you have longer and longer periods of time when the mind really is under your control, and it really is getting the exercise it needs, the exercise in alertness, the exercise in mindfulness, this exercise in stillness. This is what gives you your strength. <laughs>